All right, welcome back. It is still Galaxy today. While we we'll wait, wait to get um, signals from um, Ibadan at the ongoing uh, stakeholder security summit focused on Western Nigeria holding in Ibadan. We'll go to Abuja right now. We have a guest uh, standing by. Uh, let's make welcome Senator Yusuf Abubakar Yusuf. He is the senator representing Taraba Central. Uh, good morning to you, Senator uh, Yusuf. Many thanks for joining us on Galaxy today as we focus on the issue of um, insecurity in the country. Well, specifically, let us start from your state. I want you to give us an update on the killings in Taraba State because it is uh, a lot of people are saying it is one killing uh, too many because in recent times, uh, all of these killings are just going on unabated. Is it a thing that um, the, the state government does not really have the wherewithal to handle the issue of uh, insecurity in that state or what exactly are the issues in Taraba? It's nice talking to you uh, about Taraba or crisis in Taraba. Um, it is crisis that has been ongoing for quite some time and uh, both the federal government, the state government, you know, are trying their best they could to contain it. It has some elements of tribal, it has some elements of religious, it has some elements of political. But most uh, probably the most of all is political and the state government or the state governor being the chief security officer of the state ought to you know, consult very very well with the security agencies with the traditional rulers with the stakeholders and even with federal government and local governments to make sure that every hand is on deck to make sure that such things you know are contained but if no consultations are done by the chief security you know, officer of the state, I think you know, there's a communication gap there. So for me, I think that is what is fundamental. The stakeholders must be you know, consulted you know, and then brought together uh, to find out the lasting solution to this lingering crisis all over the state. All right. Do you really think uh, that um, the state uh government as it is has enough um, power to handle this particular issue for instance uh, you know the commissioner of police in Taraba state cannot really do so much without getting you know uh, outright approval from the inspector general of police which brings me to the next question that of um, state policing right now stakeholders in the southwest region are meeting you know to you know look for ways to actually handle this issue in that region in your opinion do you think a state police would actually help in stemming this issue of insecurity, armed banditry, and kidnapping in the border in Nigeria? Before, and I will say it again, uh, the states are not prepared. They are not. They do not have the well with us to establish, you know, a state police, because it is a very, very expensive venture. And even, you know, uh, as they are now, schools, you know, are not funded well. Uh, hospitals are not funded well. The, 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 the mandated roles for states are not, you know, funded well. So, and therefore, you know, funding would become a very, very major issue. So, I'm not saying that, you know, uh, state policy is not important. It is, but at this critical time, I don't think, you know, we should, or the state needs to have, you know, a... Uh, as uh, state police as of now. Good to know um, the, the main position in Taraba State as regards uh, community and state policing. But let's take it one step further. You know, the ninth senator will actually convene uh, to be underway in the next couple of days. In your opinion, what should be the major focus? What do we need to do differently as a legislature in terms of these issues of insecurity? Fine. Uh, what is fundamental, you know, is to fund, you know, our security agencies very, very well. We have, we have discussed it, we have said it, and there should be, you know, uh, the parliament should, should, should bring out, you know, uh, uh, resolutions and, if possible, you know, amendment of certain laws to make consultation among the security outfits fundamental and important to be done. Uh, necessary. In fact, the 
national security advisor should have you know full respect you know they, they, they should have you know strong consultation with the other outfits of security the army the police the NIA you know the, the customs you know the the, the, uh, the immigration and all the other aspects you know the police you know outfit they should be you know a close consultation and they should be respect among one another among them so i think you know we need to bridge that gap of consultation between national security advisor and the other outfits of securities in this country okay so before we uh, let you go i just like us to talk about crisis management in Taraba and every other uh, northern parts of Nigeria. I know a whole lot of our governors, or the meeting was, was held by our governors to see how um, they could fight insecurity in Nigeria. And it seems like insecurity has become like a tarot. It's becoming an issue that is very difficult to combat. I'd like to ask you, in your own uh, district, how have you been able to manage? How have you been able to manage this crisis? And then um, also speaking about insecurity generally, what will be your suggestions on them the way forward? Pending the time that governors meet again, because according to them, they resolved the meeting and said they would reconvene again to talk about it. What will be your suggestions to every one of them? Okay, it seems like we've lost the um, signals with Abuja. We'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll still be looking at security, the Southwestern Governors um, holding summits regarding insecurity. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this break. The Nigerian Army Warrant Officers and Senior Non-Commissioned Officers Competition is an annual event designed to improve leadership skills, endurance, and esprit de corps among officers with a view to preparing them to take up more challenges and responsibilities. Speaking at the opening of the training, the Grand Officer Commanding Two Division Nigerian Army, Odubo Ibadan, Major General Okudele Azenta, disclosed that the event was timely following the state of the nation. He maintained that aside from the fact that the situation has exposed gaps in operation of the Nigerian army, the training will prepare officers for the task ahead. All right, welcome back. We'll go back to Abuja right now. Uh, Senator Yusuf Abubakar Yusuf is still standing by. He represents Taraba Central. Uh, Senator, I just want to get your opinion concerning uh, the issue in Taraba still. What we hear is that uh, the new schedule uh, of the curfew that was imposed is now 6 p.m. to uh, 6 a.m. instead of 4 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, the reduction in the number of hours uh, covered by the curfew is a result of significant improvement in the security situation in the areas. That is what we are hearing from Taraba State. But do you really agree? Would you say things have actually returned to normalcy in Taraba State and residents are going about their regular business without any issue or fear? Thank you very much. I will not say you know the, the security situation has turned to complete you know normalcy. Uh, so uh, whether you know they reduce the, the, the hours of the of, of uh, from uh, from 4 p.m. to 6 or from 6 to 6, you know, I still think you know what is fundamental is to involve every stakeholder in the aspect. He must trust, you know, the, the, the stakeholders that he's going to call. I think that will be, you know, the lasting solution to it. You know, um, sitting down, not, 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 I mean, blaming federal government or blaming police or blaming army, uh, not doing, you know, uh, the bidding of the state. I think, you know, is 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 begging, you know, for solution. The solution is get the stakeholders and talk face to face, talk one to one, and then try to solve the problem. The citizens must be involved. These people know people who do that. The impunity that the state support, you know, I think should not be accepted, you know, by anybody in this country. So for me, 
you know, the, 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 the governor is the security officer, and I think he should, you know, uh, uh, come out, you know, and, and call all the stakeholders to the table. That will solve the problem, I think. Uh, currently in Ibadan right now, trying to forge ahead or forge ways ahead for this uh, issue of insecurity and banditry and kidnapping in the region. Uh, don't you think uh, the northeastern state governor should actually look at that direction, maybe form some sort of a synergy in, uh, in order to tackle the issues of security in that particular uh, geopolitical zone? summit so that you know uh, all stakeholders that will participate into this uh, you know uh, this challenging you know uh, period should, should, should come to terms to it all right we must say a very big thank you to senator yusuf abubaki yusuf that's as much as we can take from the federal capital territory a uh, senator yusuf representing taraba central at the uh, senator uh, many thanks uh, once again. It is still Galaxy today as we focus on security uh, in uh, this particular episode. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back with our guest here in Lagos. And I will see if we can also join uh, Ibado, you know, with the Southwest the Summit uh, ongoing right now. Do join us again. Disturbed by the invasion of armed bandits in parts of Southwest State, Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodo has declared that his administration will not allow or tolerate any form of banditry, cultism, and hooliganism in the state. Abiodo made this known at a meeting with the All Progressives Congress past and present party leaders as well as party faithful in the state. He said a state that is violence-free will boost economic development and as such Ogun State will not be a safe haven for miscreants. The governor further said he has made up his mind not to say anything again about the last administration of Senator Ibekunla Musun. He noted that he is more concerned about how his administration will be better than the previous ones. We will not tolerate any form of banditry, courtism, hooliganism in this state. We will be given a period of amnesty very soon. The CP will announce it to everyone to come and lay down their arms. Following that period, if we catch anybody in this state, we will make an example of it. Because our state, the state of Abouba Femiolo, the state of the Vice President, the state of so, the state of MQ, the state of so many leaders, will not be characterized by the violence of a few. We will not allow a few people to jeopardize our future. I am determined to turning this state into the economic capital of this country. And we will not allow, we will not allow some experience under any guise to stop us from achieving that.